Hello and welcome. Blender 2.68 introduces some improvements of the weight paint tools. This video is a quick overview about what you can expect. I assume that you already have worked with weight painting, so I will only explain what changed from previous Blender releases. I also want to send a big thank you to Campbell Barton. He is one of the Blender core developers, and he helped a lot to get this development done. Okay, let's start with this simple dress as our working model. One of the biggest weight tool improvements in Blender 2.68 is, you now can make your vertex groups visible in edit mode. The new option is named, Show Weights, and it can be found in the right properties sidebar in the Mesh Display panel. You can select the displayed vertex group from the corresponding vertex groups list, in the object data properties. By the way, you can increase the size of the vertex groups list, by holding down the shift key, and then scroll with the middle mouse roll wheel. You also can edit the relative weights of single vertices. The vertex weights editor is currently located in the right properties sidebar and it opens as soon as a weighted vertex is selected. The displayed weight group can now also be selected from the weight editor, so you can quickly inspect all weight groups for the active vertex. We also have added a subtype selector which allows to filter the deform weight groups. That is, show only weight groups assigned to deform bones. In our example the vertex group, weight map, is not a deform group. So we can discard its visibility by selecting the deform filter. This feature becomes important when you want to normalize the weights for one vertex. In this case you probably want to normalize only the deform groups, and the filter ensures that exactly this happens. You also can delete a weight entry for a specific weight group. But note that as soon as you do that, the entry will disappear from the weight editor. Of course you can always revert your changes by pressing Ctrl C. When you have selected multiple vertices at once, then the last selected vertex will always be highlighted in a brighter color. This is the active vertex and the weight editor shows its weight data. However you can copy weights from the active vertex to the other selected vertices. You either can copy just a single weight value from the active vertex by pressing the corresponding paste icon. Or you can copy the entire set of weights with the copy function. By the way, this copy is equivalent to clicking on all of the paste icons of the active vertex. And finally, when you enable the X mirror option in the tool shelf, then editing a vertex weight will also change its mirrored counterpart. Sometimes you need to know which verts are not weighted at all, and thus have no deform weight group. You can find these verts by navigating to, select, ungrouped verts. Then all unweighted verts get selected. This is, what we have implemented for the edit mode. But we also have some new features for weight painting. So let's move ahead, and enter weight paint mode now. First Blender provides a nice feature for the display of unweighted verts. In the tool shelf you can enable, show zero weights. When you select, all, then verts which are not assigned to any weight group, will show as black spots on the mesh. And when you select, active, then also the verts which are not weighted to the active weight group, will be displayed in black as well. Ok, back to the weight editor. It now also works in weight paint mode. However, it only shows up when you enable vertex selection masking, and when the active vertex actually has weights assigned. The active vertex is visually marked in a brighter color, just like in edit mode. So you always have a visual hint where it is, even when you have multiple vertices selected. And of course all functions also work in weight paint mode in the very same way, as I already described for edit mode. In weight paint mode you also find a couple of extra functions. These functions have been made working in a more consistent way. 
For example most of the functions now have a subset switch, which allows to select from the active group, all selected pose bones, all deformed bones, and all groups. Especially the transfer weights function has been improved, and it now works in a more reliable way. I have also updated the Blender Wiki pages for vertex groups and weight painting. You find the new pages in the user manual. Under Modeling Meshes, Vertex Groups So far so good, but actually there are still some features missing. For example we have not yet been able to add the X-Mirror function to the weight tools, and for some functions we still have to implement the new subset filters. These missing features will probably be implemented for Blender 2.69. So, this was my short demo of the weight paint tools. I hope this information was useful to your work. Have a nice day, and hopefully enjoy Blender 2.68.